Hello everybody. Our lesson for today, it will be the standard form of the quadratic function and how to grab a quadratic function in standard form. So, let's see. The standard form of the quadratic function it is f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c in which the a coefficient of x squared it cannot be equals to zero. If the a coefficient is positive, which means greater than zero, parabola opens upward, and there in parabola we can find the lowest point in the, in the graph, which is called the vertex. And in this case, as long as it's the lowest point in the graph, we'll say that parabola has a minimum. And if the a coefficient it is less than zero, parabola will open downward, and this graph will have a maximum point, highest point in the graph, which is also vertex, and it will represent the maximum of that function. To graph a quadratic function when the standard form it is given, we have to follow these steps. So, first of all, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. First of all, we will find the vertex for this parabola. Vertex, it can be, as we said, the lowest point in the graph, or it can be the highest point in the graph according with the a value. If it is positive, it's the lowest point, and if it is negative, it will be the highest point. But it's a point. So, as long vertex, it's a point has coordinates x and y, where x coordinate, x it will be equals negative b over 2a. a, b, they are the coefficients. a, it's the coefficient for x squared, and b, it's the coefficient of x. The y, y it means f of x, and this it will be f of the x, we just found it here, so it will be f of negative b over 2a. So to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, first of all, we need to find the x, and after we'll go back and we substitute with it in the formula, in the equation given. So in the first step, we look for the vertex. In the second step, as long as we know the vertex, we can say axis of symmetry, which is the same with the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is x equals negative b over 2a, and this one already we found it in the vertex. In step 3, we will look for the x-coordinate. It can be one x-intercept, they can be two different x-intercept, or maybe there is no x-intercept at all. And the x we say x intercept, but the symbol to write it, it is x zero. So x intercept, it's the point where the graph parabola will intersect the x axis. The point as long is located on x axis, the y coordinate, it is zero. So we will substitute this point in the given equation. It was given y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So instead of y, we will put the 0. It will be ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. And now from function, we convert it into quadratic equation, and all we have to do is to solve it. To solve this equation, we can use the factoring, or we can use the quadratic formula, or completing the square. In the next step, which in fact is the last step, We have to find the y-intercept of parabola. So it will be the y-intercept. We say y-intercept, but the symbol to write it, it is 0y. This point is the point of intersection between parabola and the y-axis. The point it is located on the y-axis, that's why the x-coordinate is 0. So to find it, we will substitute this point into the given equation. And 
wherever there it is x, instead of x we will put 0. So when we we'll put instead of x squared is 0 squared, instead of x we put 0. 8 times 0 it will be 0, so this term it will be out. b times 0 is 0, so this term it will be out. Then the y-intercept it will be equals to c, which is the free term. And the y-intercept will have coordinate 0, c. Let's see. Find the vertex and y-intercept of the quadratic function. So, the quadratic function, it is given. Let me remind it to you in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c. So, the a coefficient in our case is the coefficient of x squared, which is 3. The b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 12. And the c is the free term, which is 40. Vertex has coordinate x and y, where x, we said it is equals negative b over 2a. And a, b, they are the coefficients written here. So we will substitute negative. b is negative 12 over 2 times a is 3. It will be 12 over 6 equals to 2. So, 2 represents the x-coordinate of the vertex. Now, we have to find the y-coordinate of the vertex. And we said, y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 40. We found that x equals to 2. To get the y, we have to substitute the 2 in the equation. So, it will be 1 equals 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 40. So instead of this x, we put the value that we found. It will be y equals 2 squared 4 times 3, 12 minus 12 times 2 is 24 plus 40. It will be negative 12 plus 40, which means... 10 minus 2, it is 8. 3 minus 1, it will be 22. So the vertex has coordinates 2 and 28, where the coordinate of the vertex, x equals 2, also represents the axis of symmetry. Let's try more. Find the vertex and y-intercept of the quadratic function. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In our case, a is equals negative 1, b is equals to 4, and c it is 7. So vertex has coordinate x and y, where x equals negative b over 2a, and this equals negative, the b is 4, 2 times a is negative 1, so it will be negative 4 over negative 2, it is equals to 2. So the x-coordinate of the vertex, it is 2. I will write the function again. y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 7. And we found that x equals to 2. And now we look after y equals what? So as long as I know what is it is, what is it is, I will substitute in the y. And it will be y equals negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 7. We'll take it down and simplify. 2 squared 4 and negative in front, it will be negative 4. 4 times 2, it is 8. So plus 8 plus 7. And y equals 4 plus 7, 11. So the vertex has coordinates 2, 11. Where the 2, the x-coordinate of the vertex also represents 
the, the axis of symmetry of that parabola. To find the y-intercept, the y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 7. The y-intercept has the symbol 0, y which means 0 for x. From here, x, it is 0. So all we have to do is to take the 0 and substitute for x in the y equation. So it will be y equals 0 squared, this is 0. 4 times 0, it will be 0. So y, it will be equals to 7, and the y-intercept will have coordinate 0, 7. maximum or the minimum. When you see the question maximum, minimum, this is about vertex 2. So not always you are going to be asked in direct find the ver vertex. Vertex represents the minimum point in the graph if the parabola opens upward or the maximum point in the graph if the parabola opens downward. To know which one of them, all we have the a coefficient. In our case, a is negative 2, b is negative 16, and c is 20. So, a coefficient is negative 2, which means it's less than 0, which means parabola opens downward, and there the highest point, it will be the vertex, so the vertex will represent the maximum of this parabola. Now, to find it, we do as we did before. So, we will write y equals negative 2x squared minus 16x plus 20. So, the x coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a, which equals negative times. The b coefficient is negative 16. 2 times the a coefficient is negative 2, which equals 16 over negative 4, and this is negative 4. So the x coordinate, it is negative 4. To find the y, we will substitute. Instead of x, we will put the negative 4. So it will be negative 2. x is negative 4 all square minus 16 times negative 4 plus 20. And this equals negative 4 squared, it's 16. 16 times negative 2, it's a negative 32. Negative 16, negative 4, it will be plus. 16 times 4 is 64, plus 20, and this one equals. Negative 32 plus 20, it's a negative 12, plus 64, it's a 52. So then vertex... has coordinate negative 4 and y coordinate is 52. From here, without no calculus, we can say that after the symmetry has the equation x equals negative 4. To find the y-intercept, we will substitute into the rule, the equation given, y-intercept, we said it's the point where the parabola intersects the y-axis and has the coordinate 0, y. So, in our equation, we will put 0 for x. And the equation was y equals negative 2x squared minus 12x plus 20. So, instead of x, we have to put the 0. Here we'll put 0 and here we'll put 0. So, this term is out and this one is out. So, what is it left? 20. It will be y equals 20. So, the y-intercept, 0, 20 coordinates. This is the y-intercept. The minimum or maximum, in our case, we said that here it's a maximum. The minimum or maximum are given by the y-coordinate. So, this, in our case, it's a maximum. And that one, it's y equals to 20. So, if you are going to be asked, find the minimum or maximum, that it's about the vertex. 
again, find the maximum or minimum. A equals to 1, B equals to 12, and C equals to negative 15. The A coefficient it is 1, which means greater than 0, which means parabola opens upward. So this parabola, the lowest point in the graph, it's the vertex, and as long as it's the lowest point, it means that parabola has a minimum. And vertex has coordinates x, coordinates x, and y. The x coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. And this equals negative, the b is 12, over 2 times the a is 1. And negative 12 over 2, it's a negative 6. So the x coordinate, it is negative 6. So it was y equals x squared plus 12x minus 15. We found that x, it is negative 6. Then what is it y? To find the y, we substitute. Instead of x in the equation, we'll put the value of negative 6. So it will be y equals negative 6 squared plus 12 times negative 6 minus 15. We will simplify 36 minus 72 minus 15. So it will be a negative 36 minus 15 equals to y equals to negative 51. Then the vertex has coordinates negative 6, negative 51. And the axis of symmetry x equals to negative 6. What else can we find now? The y intercept. So we said y equals x squared plus 12x. Minus 15. The symbol to write y intercept it is 0, y. 0, 4, x. So wherever there is x, we will put the 0. And 0 squared is 0. 12 times 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. So y, it will be equals to negative 15. Or we can write 0, negative 15. The A coefficient, let me remind it to you, it's positive 1, so it's positive. Then parabola opens upward. And this is going to be the vertex. Find the equation in standard form of the parabola that passes through the points. So in this type of question, the points are given, but we do not know the standard form of this equation. So we start from it. F of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. To write this equation, we need to find the a coefficient, the b coefficient, and the c coefficient. So this equation will have three variables. There's no way to solve one equation with three variables. So if here we have three variables, to find them, we will need three different equations which means we are going to work with a system of equations. From where get that equations? From the points given. So we have three points given because we have three variables. For From each point, we will find an equation. I will take the first one, 0, 6. 0, it's 4, x, And 6, it's 4, y. So instead of that for this y, I will put equals. The x is 0, so this term is out. The x again 0 out, so I found that 6 equals to c. So the c coefficient, it is 6. I found it this one. How many left? 2, a and b. To find two variables, we need two equations. The other two equations, we will take them from the other two points, these two. And I will take negative 315, and again, I will substitute in the equation. So we have y equals ax squared 
plus bx plus c, where c, we found it 6. So we put 6. And the point was negative 3, 15. From here, x is negative 3, and y is 15. So I will take them and substitute. Instead of 1, we put 15 equals 8 times negative 3 squared plus b negative 3 plus c. I get it in the simplest form. It will be 15 equals negative 3 squared 9 times a, it's 9a. Negative 3 times b, it's a negative 3b plus the C, it is 6. Yeah? So I will put here plus 6. Get it simplest form, minus 6, minus 6. It will be that 15 minus 6 is 9 equals 9A minus 3B. In the three terms, the 3, it's the common factor, so we can get the equation in a simplest form. We will simplify by 3. Again, 3 is the common factor between the terms. So we will get this equation in simplest form. 3 equals 9a over 3. So 9, 9 divided by 3, it will be 3a. 3 over 3, it is 1, so minus b. One equation, two variables we cannot solve. So we'll take the other point, which was negative 6, 6. From here, we understand x is negative 6. And y is 6. And we will substitute in y equals a squared plus bx plus c, uh, 6. So instead of y, we'll put the 6. a times the x is negative 6 all squared plus b. The x is negative 6 and plus 6. We'll get its simplest form. It will be 6 equals negative 6 squared is 36a. B times negative 6, it's minus 6 plus minus 6, sorry, wait. It will be here, minus 6b and plus 6. The term is the same in both of the sides, so we can simplify by 6. It will be 0 equals 36a minus 6b. We can simplify by 6. 6 is the common factor. And it will be 0 equals 6a minus b. This equation we can solve it for b. So b it will be equals to 6a. From here, we got the b. The b, the value for b I found, I will substitute it into the previous equation here that I can solve for only one variable. So we will find 3 equals 3a minus, we found b equals 6a, so instead of b, I will put 6a, get it simplest form, 3 minus 6 is a negative 3a, so it will be a equals negative 1. And b, it will be equals, we said b is 6 times a, we found a negative 1, and 6 times negative 1 equals to negative 6. And we found before c, it is 6. Just now we can write the quadratic function which it will be 1 equals a is negative x squared plus bx. The b is negative, so it will be minus 6x and plus c, which is 6. So this is the quadratic function. Graph the parabola. 
We said that to grab the parabola, we have to follow a few steps. First of all, the parabola is given in standard form, and from here we can say a is a, to remind it to you, it's the coefficient of x squared, which is negative 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is 6. And C is the coefficient, it's the free term, which is negative 8. So, in the first step, the first thing we look for, it will be the vertex. x, y coordinates, where x equals negative b over 2a and equals negative the b is 6 over 2 times a is negative 1 so negative 6 over negative 2 it will be equals to 3 we found the x coordinate now we look for the y coordinate of the vertex and to find the y we will go back substitute in the equation y equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 8 and we found x equal 3 so now we look for y to get the y we substitute in the equation y equals negative x is 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 8 and this one equals negative 9 plus 18 minus 8. Negative 9 plus 18, it is 9. And 9 minus 8 equals to 1. So the y, it is 1. Then we can write that the vertex has coordinates. Three, negative one. In step two, we look for the axis of symmetry. We said that the axis of symmetry has the equation x equals the x coordinate of the vertex, which is three. In the next step, we will look for, we will try to find the x so y equals negative x x squared plus 6x minus 8. So, to write x intercept, the symbol is x0. The point is located on x axis, which means the y coordinate is 0. So, from here, y is 0. And this, I will substitute in the given rule. So, instead of writing y, I have to put the 0. It will be negative x squared plus 6x minus 8 equals to 0. We will simplify by negative. So, x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals to 0. We will factor it. So, think about two numbers. When you multiply them, their product, it is positive 8. And when we will add, their sum it will be negative 6. And these two numbers are negative 4 times negative 2. When we multiply the product 8 and when we add it 6, then we can factor the equation. It will be x minus 4 times x minus 2 equals to 0. Product, it is 0. If and only if, at least one of the factors is 0. So maybe this one, it is 0. Or maybe this one, it is 0. Then from the first one, x is 4. And from the second one, x equals to 2. What are these? They are these in chapter. So we got x equals 4 and x equals 2. From before, we found that the vertex has coordinates 3, negative 1. Now it is left for us to find the y-intercept. We say 
y-intercept, but we write 0y. So the x-coordinate, it is equals to 0. In the equation given, y equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 8. Wherever here it is x, we will substitute it with 0. So this term, it will be out, and this one, it will be out. y equals negative 8. This is the y-intercept. We got the points. All we have left is to graph. When we go to graph, we'll take the steps in order. Found it. So exactly as we found them, we will plot them on the coordinate plane. First of all, we found the vertex. Coordinates 3, negative 1. So x is 3, 1, 2, 3 units. I go down 1 unit. So here I have the vertex. The axis of symmetry passes through the x-coordinate of the vertex. The next we found, there were the x-intercept 2 and 4. So the vertex here, 2 is here, 3 and 4 is here. And the y-intercept, we found it. I don't know. I think I did a mistake somewhere. Let me just check a little bit. 3, negative 1. It's the axis of symmetry. So negative. Check a little bit. So it will be negative 9 plus 18 minus 8. 9 minus 8, it is 1. Ah, it's 1 positive, not negative 1. Uh -huh. So don't do like me. It's a 3, 1 coordinate. So I'm going to go back and do the graph again. So the vertex coordinates 3, 1. Here is the vertex. Axis of symmetry passes through it. The x-intercept 2 and 4. The y-intercept negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes. Then all we have to do. What is it left is to connect the points. It's just that if you take a look here, when I connect the left side, here in this left side, I have one, two, three points. In the right side, I have only two points. So I need one more. The third point in the right side of the axis of symmetry, it will be symmetric with the y-coordinate. Uh, y so the distance between y y-intercept and the x-axis, it will be three points. So I'm going to three units. So I'll take the three units on the other side. And this is going to be the symmetrical point with the y-intercept. Just now I can draw. Thank you.